Hi, I'm Travis Tomasi, National World Champion and Professional Shooter for Para USA. Yeah, when I was in the Army Marksmanship Unit, I spent a lot of the time uh, training not only your uh, regular line troops, but also special operations. And that was a, uh, and a great chance to take what I learned in competition uh, in terms of high-speed marksmanship uh, and applying that to, to what they do. Um, that was amazing. That's a nice gun. This is the Expert Carry from Para. Tell me about this gun. Yeah, well, Ryan, this is, uh, it's unique in that it has a full-size frame. That's a full-size government model that holds eight rounds and gives you enough grip there to get your whole hand on the frame. It also has a three-inch upper, which makes it shorter okay. than your usual five-inch or your four-and-a-quarter. It makes it easier to carry, easier to conceal. It's an aluminum frame, which makes it lightweight. It's comfortable. But that three-inch uh, upper of that barrel is a uh, stainless uh, ramped bull barrel, match grade, which retains wow. the accuracy. Okay. It's a uh, stainless forged slide. Uh, great feature set. Well, you're right, and you know, feels nice to shoot. You even have the uh, fiber optic front sight, which I like. That's right. That's standard now. Okay. Yeah. Um, but so this is really designed. It's called the Expert Carry. It's obviously designed for concealed carry. Um, it's a shorter gun, makes it lighter, maybe a little easier to carry, but you still have have the long grip. You have all the ammo you need and you can get a good grip on the gun. Something we were talking about is, you know, with concealed carry, everybody's carrying these smaller, smaller guns. And for some people, they say they're harder to shoot, which may be the case for some guns. Um, but they also say they're less accurate, which is not the case, right? Not at all. Not at all. Uh, in fact, they are easily enough accurate to pretty much do anything you need them to do. Um, there's a couple things that are important. Uh, with a carry or a concealed size, a smaller frame, is your uh, trigger control is mm -hmm. crucial. That you're, you're activating that trigger, pulling it straight to the rear, right. and also that you have a really good grip using your offhand for support. So why don't you just show us, kind of dry fire down range, show me what you mean, kind of step by step. All right, first of all, with my firing hand, I want it to be as high on the grip as I can get as possible. So actually, I'm going to use two points of contact to make this uh, more, more uh, consistent and so that I have a good index. Okay. One of them is the uh, web of my firing hand grip and also the top of my middle finger uh, goes underneath the trigger guard. I okay. want to make sure you have contact there and again that web goes as high as you can get it on the frame. With a 1911 of course you've got a, a thumb safety and we have it actually a full size extended thumb, sa thumb safety on this model which is pretty nice. You want to go ahead and keep your firing thumb that firing hand thumb up on the thumb safety at all times for two reasons. Number one, uh, in a stressful situation, you'll remember to turn off the thumb safety. Right. Number two, it gives you maximum surface area here on the grip for your support hand to get a nice good grip. That makes sense. Exactly. Now as far as uh, grip tension, you want to grip the gun with about as much tension as you would if you were driving a nail with a nail with a hammer. You want to be in control of the pistol. Okay, okay. I, what we did is we set a target down here a little further down. Um, this is probably further than most self-defense distances, or at least what people would think of as self-defense distances. But just to show shooting this small gun on a longer target, I'll shoot it because if you shoot it, it'll just be one little hole. But if I shoot it, I'm a regular guy. We'll see if, if you can be accurate with the small gun. Awesome. Yeah, really good. As you can see, you kept most of them in center mass. Keep, keep most of them in center mass, and you know it's it's not easy to do, but the gun will do the work. It's really more about target acquisition, sight picture, trigger control, grip. You know, just a few things to think about. But um, small guns can be accurate, right, Travis? Definitely, absolutely. So, Travis, what I'd like to do is have you shoot it and show people what this gun really can do. Here you go. Love to. Hits in the center at 20 yards. I mean, for a small gun, um, it's just really a matter of 
doing your part as a shooter, right? Absolutely, doing your part with your grip and your trigger control, and I certainly wasn't taking my time. <laughs> well, so the Para Expert Carry, whatever small gun you have, get to the range and get some trigger time because it's gonna pay off.